Detroit-based automotive startup Rivian hasn't been far from the news this week. Last weekend, it published photographs online of its first body panels to be stamped on its Illinois production facility. Those panels, while not destined for production vehicles yet, represent the start of pre-production validation at the former Mitsubishi Aimeev production facility and suggest that Rivian is sticking to its goal of being ready to bring the R1T pickup to market by next year. And on Tuesday, Ford, a company that's invested $500 million in Rivian and is working with the company to develop an all-electric pickup platform to underpin future Ford vehicles, published a video of a prototype Ford F-150 towing more than one and a quarter million pounds of rail cars and pickup trucks to prove that electric trucks weren't wimpy. While it wasn't clear if that video featured Ford's in-house drivetrain and power pack or if there was some Rivian tech hiding underneath, that video certainly lit up the internet and our channel too with plenty of arguments about whether Ford was or wasn't serious about electric vehicles. As a side, it was exhausting to see and frankly very disheartening as I think we should be celebrating companies who make any steps in the right direction as if demand and interest is there then things will ultimately enter production but that's just me having a rant. So back to Rivian. Rivian or not underneath that Ford F-150 prototype, we had another Rivian story on Tuesday when video surfaced online of an R1T driving along an off-road trail. The video, seemingly shot from a drone, followed the R1T as it reached a hairpin bend, then stopped briefly before executing a perfect 180 degree on-the-spot turn, just like a tank can. The short video simply said tank steer on a dime and seemed to be from Rivian itself. Some in the automotive industry, including some pretty big news outlets, lapped it up at face value. But others who did their homework quickly learned the origin of this video, a computer-generated animation published online by AutoVision. At this point, I would love to share it with you, and there are still a few rogue copies online in various formats, but given how quickly and aggressively channels hosting this video have had them removed, well, how do I put this? We're a small YouTube channel with a small budget and frankly, I need this video to stay up and not get taken down, so sorry. Despite being a computer animation, a piece of fake news to use modern parlance, it's worth looking at this tank steering capability a little more closely because as I'm about to tell you, it's something that Rivian has actually been working on. The video itself might be computer generated, a fake video, but the technology apparently is real. You see, Rivian holds trademarks to the term tank steer and tank turn, and the company has openly discussed the possibility of producing a vehicle capable of turning on a dime like a tank before. The company's CEO, RJ Scarringe, has even confirmed that a tank turning-like feature with fully independent all-wheel drive capabilities will be offered at some point in the future on Rivian vehicles. So the question is, how does this all work? The secret in this capability lies in the fact that the R1T and R1S use independent electric motors to provide power to the wheels. At the moment, these motors are inbound, meaning that they are located within the vehicle's chassis rails and connect to each wheel via a short drive shaft. It's only a short developmental move from there to in-wheel motors, where the motor itself sits inside the vehicle's wheel hub. In that case, no drive shafts are needed as the motors would be directly attached to the car's wheels. And that's the key because when you do away with a drive shaft between the hub and the body of the vehicle, the vehicle's wheels can turn as much or as little as required, up to 90 degrees quite happily. In-wheel motors would be required for a true turn on a dime capability, but there's also a way of doing it with Rivian's current motor setup. Four-wheel steering is most definitely possible if the company did away with the traditionally mechanically linked steering system and instead opted for a fully electric drive-by-wire system with motors activating the steering angle for each wheel. It would be possible, for example, to have the wheels on the same axle point in different directions. If you did this on both front and rear axles, you would have the ability to turn on a dime, or at least in a very small space, without needing the motors to be in wheel. So there you have it. The video that is a confirmed fake, but given the way Rivian's gone after it and the trademarks that it has, 
suggests that fiction isn't as far away from reality as you might think. That's it. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you liked it or didn't like it below. Scribble a comment, hit the notification bell. And if you'd like to help us make more of these videos, please do consider making a donation every month through Patreon. You can buy us a coffee through Ko-fi or visit our merch store. And thanks to 45 Drives who hooked us up with a server that we use to bring you all this content every day. I'll be back soon with another episode, but until then, keep evolving.